Hello folks, Wayne Bolden. I'm here to speak King Channel. It's hump night. Of course, it's Wednesday. Hey, as always, turn your closed captions on. This week tip sheets, all states are available. Email us, speedking24 at yahoo.com. 15 bucks, great, great way to support us. And I never mention this. Hey, we have a membership, okay? If you love what we do and you want to see us on the air, please find the uh, membership button. It's a small fee every month. Um, you know, if you find it in your, uh, that you're able to do so. Great way to support us. Well, we're going to take another look at a race over to Aqueduct on Saturday. It's race number four, right before the grade three hill prints. It is the notebook stakes, six furlongs, 100,000 for two-year-old New York breads. It's a field of nine and um, not a bad field. Going to give you our top three or four picks in this one and we'll move on. The number six horse, work for me. Well, I read this race top and bottom. Always when you got two-year-old babies, hey, anything goes. But to me, the number six horse, work for me, has a beautiful, beautiful uh, bloodline and uh, uh, breeding rating by Daddy Long Legs, right? Uh, Jay Lee is doing the training, right? Kind of new to me, Joseph R. Lee, and uh, he did uh, attract the services of Irad uh, Ortiz. So, hey, listen, now uh, Jay Lee um, is uh, clicking at about 15%. It is Joseph Lee. Um, I'm not familiar with that trainer, but again, he's 15%. Him and Irad together don't have uh, a percentage yet. They started. Uh, two times together and and uh, hit the board first second uh, hit the board uh, second and third fifty percent so you know very small sampling but anyway work for me the number six horse to me is coming off of a turf race right uh, this one by Daddy Longley on August on November fourth at Aquadot this one ran in a stake race for one hundred and twenty thousand on the turf. The Atlantic Beach Stakes, right? Now, this horse was 16 to 1 with uh, Trevor McCarthy up. Ran a beautiful speed figure. Today's race is on the dirt, okay? Now, prior to this horse running on the turf, he has run on the dirt the other four times that he's run. So that's not the issue. What was unusual is him being on the turf on August 4th, which earned a big big speed figure but the race two back on October 8th it was scheduled for the turf that grade three stake race the grade three uh, futurity stakes but it was scratched off for the dirt and ran a nice figure again just like race number five the grade three hill prints I think the number six horse towers over this bunch okay and the mere fact that uh, Trevor McCarthy's off who I like and uh, this, to me, a trainer that's not known to me at least, attracts Irad, and this horse is coming from turf to dirt. The number six work for me. I think this horse should win hands down. I mean, that's just, I looked at the rest of the race. Now, if this horse don't win, then the other eight, the race just falls wide open and anything can go. So, once again, the number six work for me looks like a lead pipe cinch, right? So, I'm going to play a double of a fourth race. Uh, the notebook stakes to the grade three hill prints because everybody knows I like the number three horse in the fifth race. Okay, integrate. I think that horse should should beat them. So I'm looking at a cold double, uh, fourth race to the fifth race, six three. Let me make sure integration is the three in the fifth race in the hill prints, right? Yeah, integration is the three. So back to the notebook, the race right before the grade three. Ah. I don't know how they beat the six, okay? But that being said, that's our top pick, and we need to look at the other two horses in here that we think, if the six don't run, who it would be. Again, one win from five starts, an unknown trainer to me. You've probably known to everyone else, because I don't know everything, and I rats up. The number six, fourth race, the old notebook six, I think should go get the wire. That's just how I see it. Our second pick, well... Mr. Speed King, what are you thinking? Well, how about Agalos the Great, the number four horse? 
Well, the number three horse, Avalos the Great, again, has a decent race, but is still three or four lengths slower than the number six going in. The number three, Avalos the Great, has one win from four starts, one second, two third. George Weaver's doing the condition. Manny Franco, my boy, is in the odds. By City of Light, yes, that City of Light. Breeders' Cup winning City of Light. Springer City of Light. Well, Avalos the Great is our second pick here. Uh, the number three horse, and we'll leave it at that. Like I said, I don't think they could beat the six. Now, again, if the six don't run the way I think, everybody else got a shot because they all look the same. The six looks like the standout. And that way, maybe you want to cover a little bit with Agalos the Great uh, into the Hill Prince State. So our second pick is the number three, Agalos the Great. And our third pick for our tri-factor, well... I would be a little remiss if I didn't take Born Chance, right? Born Chance, the number two, right inside of Avalos the Great, the number three. Hey, one win from three starts, one third. Bruce Levine's doing the conditioning. Kamuch is in the arms. And he's slow, but he's already been beaten several times by our second pick, number three, Avalos the Great. So our second pick is the number two, Born Chance. And if we was to round out a super factor in here, uh, I guess we would go to Detective Tom, which is the number four horse in here. Again, just like the number two, Born Chance, uh, one win from two starts. He just looks like he's five or six lengths slower than our top pick work for me. But I guess somebody has to run four. So it would be the number um, four horse for us. So in the race, race number four at Aquadot on Saturday. Hey, the race right before the Hill Prince grade three. I think the number six in the fourth race is uh, Lead Pipe Cinch. I think both of these horses are best bets. The one in the fourth race, the number six worked for me, and then in the fifth race, Integrate. Okay? The number three horse. So for me, it's a cold 6 3 double. Hello, one, two, buckle your shoe. So I'm going to do a cold 6-3 double. But what I'm going to do in this race, our top pick is the number six. Our second pick is the number three horse, Avalos Great. Our, our third pick is the number two, Born Chance. And our fourth pick is Detective Tom. Go ahead. It's going to be six, three, two, four. Just like that. You can go ahead and box it up. Six, three, two, four. I think it's a lead pipe since. Maybe I'll push the box button, which we should always do first, and then maybe I'll just go ahead and key the six horse, who I absolutely love in the fourth race, over the three, two, or four like that. All right? The same thing in race number five. I love the six, three, double, race four to race five. You keep saying that. I mean, I don't know. If it ain't those, then I don't know what else to play because the race falls open. I think the number six worked for me. I hope it worked for me. Looks like a lead pipe in the fourth. Integration in the fifth looks like a lead pipe. There he goes. Having a bunch of fun, y'all. As always, hey, PP it up yourself. Look at it. Handicap it. Let me know what you think. But your Speed King's playing a cold 6-3. Fourth race back to the fifth. Talk to y'all. Give me that 400. Talk to you. 63.